Well, hello and welcome to Lord of the Board. My name is Sam Smith and today we are going to be playing Root. Well, hello and welcome to Lord of the Board. My name is Sam Smith and today we are going to be doing something a little bit different. We are actually going to be playing the digital version of Root. Now, if you didn't already know, Root is one of my favorite games of all time. So when the digital version came out, I knew that I had to play it. Now, today we're just going to be playing an online match. I don't know the people that I'm playing with. Um, so I'm just going to jump in a match and let's see how it goes. All right, so it looks like we finally found a game. So let's see what we're going to be. I chose a random faction, so I'm not exactly sure what I am going to be. Oh, looks like I'm the Woodland Alliance. Sweet. Ooh, starting with an ambush. Oh my gosh. I started with friggin' three bird cards. What in the world? That's crazy. Oh, I still can't see what... Uh, supporters are my starting supporters though okay you guys should all comment down below what uh what your thoughts are on the root digital edition i'm very interested to hear um and i will definitely be active in the comments so definitely leave a comment down below uh what have been your thoughts of the game and what's been your favorite part so far I know that my favorite part has been being able to play with my friends consistently has been absolutely wonderful. All right, so he's got good old sawmills workshop down here. Workshop and bunny, not sawmill. At his keep, interesting. Recruiter on fox. All right. Looks like we got the birds over here. Obviously, across from the Marquis Keep. Now he's going with the Charismatic for his first choice. I usually go Charismatic too. Uh, it depends on what my starting hand is, though. Sometimes I'll do just like a turn one, turn mile strategy. And obviously, we've got the Tinker Vagabond. He's the most powerful Vagabond right now in the game's current state. So we'll see how this game goes. I'm going to do my best, but we'll see. We'll see. All right. Crafting the travel gear turn one. Just giving the vagabond some items. It's a mistake. Interesting. Doing some marching, kind of getting his cats out of these clearings, probably to protect them from just being wiped out by the Marquis. I am interested to see what the Vagabond is going to do. Because I feel like there's a lot of different ways that you can actually play the early game as the Vagabond. I'm assuming he's just going to go for an explore action here. There it is. Another thing that makes this Root Digital Edition so great is definitely the artwork. <laughs> the artwork is absolutely phenomenal and beautiful and wonderful. And I love it in every single way. All right, so he is going to immediately aid the Marquise and get rid of the mouse favor card. Wow, <laughs> that is one of those cards that I just would have never gotten rid of as the Tinker. Oh man, okay. We're, we're in for... Oh, okay. Well, he's going to go ahead and do a quest. So he's already at three victory points turn one. That's pretty good. Man, I really hope that this cat is not going to... Really, really hoping that this cat's not going to do anything I'm going to regret. Wait a second. Is this Eerie player now showing? I'm pretty sure this guy streams. 
Oh my gosh, he did the turn one turmoil strategy. I totally taught him that. Dude, if this is actually the now showing from the stream, you guys should go watch the stream. This actually totally is him. No way. That's so funny, he recognizes me. All right, so we can't revolt, obviously, on our first turn. So now we got to think strategically about where we want to really exploit here. Now we can easily kind of mess up their plans by going into their roost clearing, but I'm actually going to try to get three down. Therefore, I'm going to take it more on these corners here. I'm going to go for the fox. Get this mouse and I'm going to go down here on this bunny. And really what the strategy is, is I'm trying to only affect one player. That way they don't have enough actions to remove everything. Now I'm going to go ahead and put that in there and that in there. And I know they're items, I'm really good at crafting items, but I'm going to do that. That way I can try and guarantee a revolt next turn. Because you want to try to get a revolt on your second turn as the Woodland Alliance. That's so funny that now showing is streaming right now. That's so funny. We're all doing something. <laughs> All right, so let's see what the Vagabond is going to do. I am interested in his turn two. Because uh, his first turn, he seemed to go for more of um, the questing, like gaining items strategy, and he aided. So he's already got three boots, so he's got a lot of movement already in the game. Let's see what he's got going on here. Uh, he's just going to go for that other item, so he's going to get the pick up that sword there. I think he's going to make a relationship with the cat pretty fast. Which, you know, that's totally fine. As long as he's not spending his days clearing my sympathy, I am pretty much good. There's been too many times where uh, Vagabond players are just going to be clearing my sympathy as well as the Marquise clearing my sympathy. And that sucks for the Woodland Alliance player, but it pretty much guarantees the Marquise have an advantage at spreading and um, overwhelming the other factions, which is pretty interesting. There's a lot of balance in this game. Really, this is a game about checks and balances. Oh boy, let's see. Okay, so he's going to go in the corner, the fox corner clearing. I wonder what he's going to do there. Alrighty. Now this is interesting because after the turn one turmoil strategy, um, which is a great strategy by the way, it's awesome. Um, Cause you basically have you know, a ton of birds here. I'm interested to see what he's gonna do next and how he is going to spread. Is he gonna go towards me where I'm going to be basically getting that, um, getting those, the, the outrage ability there to grab a card from him or is he not gonna go that route? Cause at this moment I'm, I'm not contested at all with all three of my sympathy. Oh, nice. He's going to go ahead and craft that knapsack there. Let's see. So he gets an extra point for removing buildings or tokens in battle. So he may go for the sympathy token just to get the extra point, but he is not going to do that. He's going to go straight for um, a very open clearing, very open bunny clearing in the middle of the board. That's awesome. 
Oh, and he's going to spread some even more. Nice. I like that. So right now he's got a, a bird move, bunny move, and a build in wild. All right, our second turn of the game. Now we can literally revolt anywhere now. Um, and so we're going to want to start thinking about what cards. <laughs> it kind of sucks because both of the cards that I have right now are really good. Um, they're both ambush cards. Like I don't want to mobilize them. So we want to start thinking, though, about our base. So let's go ahead and do this. Let's go ahead and place our first one here. So we're going to revolt in the mouse and I'm not going to gain any, you know, real huge benefit for it, but we're just going to go ahead and do that. We're going to move forward. Now we could train, but we're not going to do that. And we're also, ah, it's kind of, it might be a bad move not to mobilize, but we're also not going to mobilize. We're just going to keep our ambush card. We're going to move straight to evening and we're just going to spend this turn recruiting one warrior and move on there we go and look we got some mouse cards for next turn so this is really good so one of the things that i talk about in my strategy guides is the tinker can effectively use a favor card grab it from the discard pile and then use it again so if this cat player discards that favor card at any point um if the Vagabond player ever gets three hammers, he can basically just control the game, gaining a ton of points and wiping out all of the other players, which really, really sucks. So the Marquis is still spreading out. They've are, they're at five points right now. Oh, sorry, sorry, seven points right now. They seem to be spreading out pretty well. They're doing a really good job at keeping the... Oh, there he goes. Nice. Three new cats for his... Furry army. Oh gosh, you probably shouldn't call it a furry army. It's going to make some people too happy. And he's thinking a lot about where he's going to slip to right now. Oh, he's going straight to the forest. Interesting. He just moved right back to the clearing. I wonder if he didn't know that he could have just skipped that part. He's going to get another item. I think he's getting all of the items. The last one he's going to probably go for is over here in this fox clearing. So we're going to want to try to prepare ourselves for him trying to get there. Maybe we can snag him before he gets out and get a little attack in. All right, and we've got our good old friend here. Okay, he's going for... Okay, so he crafted a bag. He's recruiting in Fox. So if we want to make him go into turmoil, we should try to take his Fox Roost. That's not going to be easy and also not going to be worth it. All right, so we cannot revolt because obviously nobody is touching any of our stuff right now. Um, there's no way that we can even spread sympathy this turn either. So scoring points is going to be tough. We are going to go straight into... Hmm. This is a pretty good card to craft. We might actually craft this one. Look at another player's hand. Um, we're going to go ahead. Ah, see, we need things in here though. We really need more supporters, but it's really good to be able to look at another player's hand. I know he has the mouse favor card, but he only has a bunny and a f and another bunny, so he might have bunny favor card. You know what? I'm going to go, just for the ease of mind, I'm going to go ahead and craft that, and that way I can go ahead and look at this player's hand and see what he has. Ah, he does have the favor of rabbits, so he's trying to go for that. Wow, he has actually a lot of good cards. 
Oh my gosh, this is not good. Okay, so we really have to try and stop him from being able to do that. We're gonna go ahead and train a officer there. And we're gonna go ahead and pass to the next turn, or sorry, to the night phase. We're gonna get a movement in just one. We're gonna go ahead and do that. Get a little sympathy, kind of scare him a little bit. And that's the end of that turn. Man, it's a good thing I was able to see what he had going on over there. So he's probably gonna go for another rabbit clearing. Where is, okay, so he would have to go all the way to this corner or he has to go all the way over here to the other Eerie. However, he also has the mouse favor card. So with that, he doesn't really have much of a chance of getting that one. Interesting. I'm very interested in what's going on here. Oh, it looks like the Marquise is... Hmm. They just crafted a card, and I'm not sure what it was. Oh, he's going to take out my sympathy here. That's actually kind of good. I need the cards right now. Now, I could ambush, but I am going to not ambush, because I could just reuse that same spot. I mean, I kind of want to use my ambush for something different. My ambushing is, like, a little bit... I don't know. I I like to use ambushes when I know I'm really screwing them over. When he has like three in there, it's kind of hard for me to justify. Taking that and putting it in my supporters was really good though. That could have net him three victory points. Holy moly. Hmm, so is that another crafting? Uh, it's another crafting station down here in the fox, but I'm not sure what I saw in there that was fox crafting I'm, he must just be doing that for the point gain because if you didn't know you know the workshops have the highest point gain um lineup there's two two three four five which is really good i don't know who i'm gonna look at with their hand with code breakers i might just keep looking at well, let's see how many hammers now so see the tinker only has one hammer so i'm not afraid of him crafting any favor cards And our bird friend here uh, has one of each color, so I'm not afraid of him crafting any favorite cards. It's sad because favorite cards are such an important part with the Root Digital because they're such a powerful card. In you know our real life games, we take the favorite cards out or we play um, you know with the Exiles and Partisans deck, which is just not available here. So I have to be very weary of the possibility that we are going to get basically attacked uh, by a favor card. Now, what I am seeing here is that the Marquis is, let me see, let's go out and view. Now the Marquis is running out of room a little bit. He only has space for two more buildings. Um, and then he's gonna start hunting, uh, sorry, three more buildings. And then he's gonna probably start hunting for room. So one thing that we need to be doing is be extra careful and try to cut him out. He has a couple of the weaker edges, or sorry, the weakest edge of his kind of civilization right now is this bunny clearing. It only has two workers and a workshop. So I'm hoping that the birds will kind of do the work for me here and kind of clear that a little bit. Now the Vagabond is considering his options. I am hoping he's not going to attack me. Ah, he's doing it just like I said, he's going for that last item. That will be his other hammer. So he just needs one more hammer to where he's able to start crafting those favorite cards. And I do not have that hammer, so I will not be helping him with that. Oh, he's going to craft himself a crossbow. This could be bad. He might just use the crossbow to clear this sympathy right here. Gain a victory point. Oh, wow. Friendship. Holy moly. That's crazy. I'm, I'm very impressed. Okay, so we're really hoping to get a second revolt, but it is very unlikely with the fact that I did not place any cards in my mobilize, or sorry, I didn't mobilize any anything really last turn. So I am just hoping that he moves into this fox clearing over here. Um, if he's able to move into this fox clearing, we would be able to get you know a fox card, hopefully. 
let's see what they're doing. All right. Getting their recruits. Now they're going to move. I'm interested to see where they're going to be moving. That's going to be... Okay. Going to reinforce a little bit there. Control there and place a roost down, I'm assuming. Interesting. So he's kind of spreading out some of his warriors to kind of spread out a, a little bit of the control there. So he's not even going to attack there. He doesn't have a card in his attack for decree. No, he does not. All right, so we cannot revolt again, and we also cannot spread any sympathy. So we're not doing very great, guys. We're not doing very good. Um, how are we going to get through this? We are going to get through this by mobilizing this turn um, a lot. Um, we can also get through this by doing uh, some more officers. So let's see here. First, we're going to look at somebody's hand. Let's check out the Vagabond's hand really quick. Codebreakers is a great card for the... Okay, so he's got the potential to get three points. Okay, okay. Interesting. So we're going to go ahead and get another officer. Yeah, we're going to go ahead and get another officer. We want to get three officers. That way when we get our two other bases, we are able to get up to five officers. I like to have five officers. Some games I like four officers. But we're just going to go ahead and mobilize both of these. And hopefully we can get another revolt in next turn. We could guarantee... Man, we could guarantee something pretty good here with this ambush card, but I just, I get so scared getting rid of ambush cards because I love using them so much. We really need to, to get a revolt, so I'm going to go ahead and play it. Okay, let's move on to the next phase. We're now moving into here. We're going to go ahead and get a warrior. We're going to move him down there. And we're going to go ahead and transform, of course. So he's thinking pretty heavily about his turn right now, and I think it's because he was realizing that he's running out of room. There he goes, gonna take that sympathy. And I'm just gonna let him have it again. We wanna be protecting things that we care about more with that ambush card. So he's gonna go ahead and take that, get a victory point. I mean, at least we're taking an action at the end of the day, it's not too terrible. Now hopefully he's gonna give me a fox card. No, it looks like he did already. Oh, no, no, he didn't already, but now we've got another fox card. So we're definitely gonna be able to revolt in this fox clearing. I was kind of secretly hoping that the Vagabond would stay there, that way we could take three items away from him, but very unlikely. If the Vagabond takes this Sympathy, though, that is going to be a game breaker. Oh, that would be really sad if that happened. Oh, there he goes. Nice. He overworked and got that workshop out, and I believe that's another Fox. Interesting. So he's got Fox, two Fox, two Bunny. Oh my gosh, it's crazy. He has the he has the mouse favor and he has the bunny favor. At least I think he still does. Um, but he's got two bunnies right now, realizing that the bunnies are going to be very hard for him to grasp. And he's got two foxes right now. Um, but I don't think he has the favor of the foxes. So we're going to have to check his hand again this coming turn and see what he's got going on there. Oh, thank goodness. The Vagabond left there. Hopefully I can revolt there still then. If we can get another revolt out, that would be very, very beneficial. In fact, we would be able to get two revolts out on our next turn. And if we're able to do that, we can really start power powering up our engine here. We'll have, you know, three, three warriors already on the board with five officers. That's really where we want to be. Hmm. So it looks like he used a special ability there to grab a bird crafting card and he's just gonna walk clear away oh there he goes crafting it i think that was a bag right it was so he has a ton of room 
Wow. He still only has the two hammers. I'm hoping that all the other players stick with the plan of not crafting their hammers. Uh, the last thing we want is for the Tinker to have three hammers. That is a huge danger to pretty much all of our gameplay. Oh, for aiding, of course. It's going to aid that Marquise player again. What's their relationship like? He's got Betterboro Bank. He's got Command Worm. All right, let's see what this Eerie player is going to do. I'm, I'm interested. Um, I feel like he's going to try to expand into my territory, seeing as I'm looking very weak right now. I've only got, you know, a sympathy right here. He went into mouse attack, so I think he's probably going to be attacking here. Or here. But he would have to get two moves in to get to me here. So I don't think he's going for my mouse base. I think he's probably going for this corner clear. Let's see what else he added. Uh, looks like he added a, another recruit in Bunny, so he's going to get a lot of birds. Nice. Oh no, where's he going to go? I think he's going to go into that mouse clearing to get that battle. I don't think there's, yeah, okay. That makes much more sense. I was thinking it would be a lot, it'd be very expensive for him to try to move over towards my base to get the battle. So I'm glad he went with this. Now, however, I don't think he's able to build. So he's going to go into turmoil. But that's fine. Um, he's got a pretty good engine. He's getting three points. He'll be losing two points, so he'll be getting one point. Not too bad. It's a pretty good time to go into turmoil if you're going to do it. So he'll be at eight victory points by the end of his turn. And that does drop in all of the dominance card availabilities. Oh my gosh, that's awesome. So we're going to be able to do a double revolt this turn, which is sweet. And he is going with the commander, which gives him a plus one in all combats, which is really good. We're just going to jump straight in. We're going to go ahead and revolt twice. And that will put us at the five officers that I wanted to be at. Cool. So this gives a lot of options for spreading um, throughout the board and then organizing them into sympathy. So we're not going to basically ever use the training card again until we start getting attacked by our opponents. Um, let's use this card to check the Marquis hand again and see what he's got up his sleeve. So he still has the favor of the rabbits. Hmm. Okay, so that means that the mouse favor card is not in his hand anymore, so I'm not sure where that went. Uh, this is not good, I'm stressed out. Okay, let's go ahead and mobilize. I'm just going to go ahead and mobilize all these in. We're going to keep that ambush card, as always. And move straight to the evening and see what we got here. So we got one, one, one. Hmm, what are we at? So we're at the point where it's getting a little bit more expensive. Let's go ahead and move him there. Turn him into sympathy. And let's go ahead and move. I'm thinking heavily about this because if I move and do this again, I'm going to have more sympathy out, sure. But it's also dangerous. I don't know. I might go for this bird his current decree he's got a free attack he's he's definitely gonna go for the attack here and clear it out um i'm i'm finding the need to slow down the marquee some more so but i also think that kind of buffing up this round might be better so let's get a worker or sorry a <laughs> warrior and another warrior here and leave this one a little weaker and that's good enough for me oh there it is the last hammer that good old tinkers looking for I will not be crafting that at all let's see what else we got cool that's useless to me 
This is actually a really good one. I might craft this cobbler. If I'm able to actually spread this sympathy, it's kind of been difficult to do that, though. How did I just get a car? What? Oh! He took out... What? Wow, he chose me to draw a card. So nice. Thank you, squirrels. I was wondering about that extra card that I just saw. And now he's going to take my freaking sympathy. Thank you. I don't know. It might not be the right choice to be just giving him these victory points. Because technically I am kind of giving him these points. By just kind of spreading out here a little bit. But I just feel like it's another action on his turn that he can't spend trying to move forward, building buildings and such. He is running out of room, so pretty soon here we're going to have to start kind of attacking him. He's got these, um, basically these outside clearings very, very guarded. Oh, he got that coin. That was really, really good. Dang. Oh, he's attacking the Vagabond. Smart move. Vagabond's going to start jumping up in points at any minute here. Ooh. Brutal Tactics coming out from, I believe, the, the Tinker. Interesting. I think the Marquis only has one more action to make now. So the Marquis at this stage in the game is trying to secure his victory by making sure that the Vagabond's not going to jump up and uh, jump up and score and and be able to pass him. So the Vagabond player is uh, is not sustaining too much damage. He's got so many boots. Um, this, however, is going to hopefully make the Tinker want to get back at the Marquis. And if that happens, we will have to take. Our, ooh, he hit him so hard there. Oh, no. Yeah, so hopefully this will make the Tinker kind of want to fight back at the Marquise, and that will kind of give us a moment to really spread our wings and hopefully exploit some weaker spots in the Marquise's strategy. Man, this Marquise player is attacking everybody right now. Holy moly. Let's see how this combat goes. Ooh. Ambush came out from the Eerie. And he's able to field hospital. Let's see if he does it. No, squirrels, sorry. He's able to do a field hospital, hopefully getting his some of his uh, cats back. I'm interested. Looks like he's going to go ahead and use that, get his cats back. That was good on the Eerie's part, kind of defending that. That leaves the workshop defenseless. Oh my gosh, he's going to play Hawks for Hire to get an extra action. What can he do? He only has two wood, right? Oh, he could technically build a sawmill right out here in this clearing, and he probably will do that. That's the only thing I can see him doing, just building it over here in this mouse clearing. He could do another, he could do an overwork to set himself up for next turn, but no, he's going to move, it looks like. Uh, okay, so he's going to reinforce over there. I think the cat player is getting a little scared that his defenses are kind of breaking apart here. Now I am interested to see what this Vagabond is going to do. He just got smacked really hard by the Marquis. My hope is that he starts attacking back at the Marquis, and that will help, hopefully help everybody's attention get off of me, and that way I am able to actually breathe a little bit, because I've been pretty slid into the corner. So I think he's gonna be spending his turn in the forest to repair all of his items. Yep. That's a good move. His next turn's going to be very powerful. He'll have all of his items restored. He'll just need to... 
He doesn't have any root T though, so he can only refresh three. Hmm. Okay, let's see what our our bird friend is going to do. Okay, so he's adding recruit to fox. And he's gonna craft a root T. Oh, I hope that the tinker, the tinker is definitely going to come and grab that. That's kind of what the tinker needs in order to get his engine really, really exploding. It's gonna go crazy when he gets that root T, I'll tell you what. Okay, let's see what's going on. He gets a free battle, I don't know where he's gonna battle. Oh, there he goes. He's gonna try to get some more. Wow, that was an amazing combat for him right there. He brought, brought the, the Marquise down to one. So we obviously cannot revolt, so we're going to go ahead and move ahead. We can spread a little bit of sympathy at only one location. We're going to go ahead and do so. Gosh, it costs a lot, but at this point, what else are we going to do? Uh, we are not going to craft that, and we're not going to craft that. So we're just going to mobilize that one, and mobilize that one, and mobilize that one, mobilize... Mobilize. We're literally just doing a ton of mobilization. And we're done doing that. We're going to go ahead and check some cards. We're going to see what he's got. See what this Tinker has. So now the Tinker has the favor of the rabbits, but he does not have a third hammer, nor do does he have the engine to really be able to, to do that. So... We got to start attacking the cats, generally. Um, this is going to be tough. Because a part of me does not want to do this. This looks like it's cut off a little bit from him. So we're going to go ahead and move both of these guys over. We're going to go ahead move one of these guys. So that already gives us a warrior back in our tableau. We're going to go ahead and fight here. And hopefully we just get the higher roll. Basically anything but equal. I just need something higher. Ah, it's so bad. He took everything and we only took two of his units. Oh, that was not good. That was extremely bad. That was like the worst roll we really could have done. Uh, we're not doing well. Yeah, I mean, he's going to go ahead and get all those cats right back. If he gives me enough fox cards, we might be able to pull off a favor of the foxes. That would be detrimental to this guy. Seriously, his entire engine, that would give me a lot of victory points if I was able to pull off one of those. The thing is, his fox clearings are just so dang powerful, it's gonna be so tough to get that, that space, really. I don't know, I probably, I don't know. It's hard, I, I just wanna hang on to that ambush card, but it just never seems like a good time. Oh, here we go. Okay. So, oh, he's giving me a mouse. Gosh, I really don't have a lot of sympathy on the board. It's honestly been extremely tough to get sympathy on the board this game. I've been very cornered with very high unit counts, which means it's been costing a lot of extra to really spread the sympathy. Oh, boy. All this to say that the Marquise is technically still out of room besides this one spot. So we'll see what he does if he's able to craft this one spot or not. Looks like he's just keeping himself pretty darn. Oh. I'm curious as to why he would move further with three there. He's leaving this mouse location very undefended. 
Gosh, that would be a lot of points. Man. Wow, just a roost and a cat in that corner clearing. That was kind of a crazy combat. I believe that the cats only have one more action. And they're going to clear out that, get the point for the roost. Dang. The question is, what is the Vagabond going to do? He was beat pretty harshly by the Marquise last turn, so I'm interested to see what he's going to do this time around. He's going to slip over to this middle clearing here. What has he got? He's got a sword and a crossbow. He could have exploited over here and tried to take some of the Eerie, but it looks like he might be helping the Marquise in winning by attacking me or he's going to attack my stuff here that would be very bad if i lost a base right now i actually can't afford to i would probably ambush i guess ambush doesn't really help it just makes me get back at him oh whew, he's just gonna move straight through it's kind of freaking me out Oh, he's going for the root. Hey, what did I tell you? He's going for that root T right there. Yeah, yeah. Seriously, if you want to help a Vagabond out, craft those root T's. They need them for pretty much everything. He's definitely taking that root T. Yep, there it goes. I always got to be careful about that when playing with Vagabond players. Try to avoid crafting root tees. If they're the tinker, definitely avoid crafting those hammers. It just gives them such a good buff. I am not doing very well, friends. I am at 8 victory points. We've got a 21, a 13, and another 13. We're going to have to do something crazy, and I have no idea what I can do. If I could lay down two foxes, that would be the ideal situation, but there's just no way I can. Man, if there was a way to lay down two foxes with my sympathy alone, that would be very, very good. Okay, let's see what the Eerie are going to do this turn. Oh no! This looks like they went into turmoil and that was likely because they had that roost taken out. Okay. So now it's our turn. We obviously cannot revolt. We can lay a fox here. Might as well do it. Okay, let's see what we've got. We're going to mobilize some of these. We're going to mobilize that guy. <sighs> the sword is really good. We've got two of those. We could craft the sword. We could give the tinker the sword, get two extra victory points right here. We want to try to get another fox clearing, but it's just going to be so hard for us to get there. I'm just going to go ahead and put all this in there. Okay. We got a three right here. This could be a game changer. If 
If we get the if we get the three, that would be exquisite. Oh my gosh, that is exactly what we wanted. <laughs> Dang. Oh my word, it's like we we've, we've kind of got a. Oh, this is so tough because a part of me wants to keep my my units safe here, um, but really clearing out that would be so valuable. You get two points, but he's able to just kind of cruise through and, and basically take my bases. Oh, man. We've got to take the buildings at this opportunity. If he came in with like a thousand troops, he could easily try to take it all back. But we're just going to get these points here, which would be really good. And we didn't lose a single, single warrior. That was great. But the sad thing is we're going to be out of actions now, so. It's, it's risky, but at least I think we've slowed down his reign just that much more. Oh, that is a bird card. Good for, yeah, we'll go ahead and get rid of that one. Bird cards, even though, you know, I can't craft this card, it's sold out, I can still use it as my supporters, and bird cards are very, very good for the supporters. Gives you just a lot more options. So, of course, he's going to fill the hospital there. He's going to get, a, you know, all three of his units back. He's probably just going to go right back into here and try to get me for that fox clearing again. If I could somehow spread to this fox clearing, that would be a game changer, like I said. I guess it would really only affect this tile, but even affecting that tile with his three wood with a favor would be so good. That's five victory points just right there. This Marquise player is doing very well. He's already, he's at 21 points, so he is in a good position to attempt to close out the game here. He just has to basically continue rushing empty spots. It's nice that he can't just get directly to my mouse, and now that I've got a mouse ambush, this is looking a lot better. And this fox right up here, if I'm able to sustain this sympathy and get to this fox, that would be awesome to be able to get that favor. I'm just really afraid he's going to go for closing out the game here. I would love to have one more turn. All right, so now he's protecting his keep a little bit. I think he moved there so that he could get more warriors into that clearing, but why would he, I mean, I get the higher roll is the thing. So I have such an advantage um, as the Alliance. If I could take out a clearing like this and put myself here in such a bold position, it's really, really good for my class. Looks like I stopped him from winning that turn. The player thought he was gonna win that turn, but I stopped him right there with that. Got another aid coming from the Tinker here over to the Eerie. Let's see what he's got. I wonder what he's taking. Is there one item here? I think it was a bag if I remember. I think he's got a, uh, yep, looked like it was a bag. I wonder what the Vagabond is thinking. I don't know. I'm trying to get into his mind and see what he's trying to do right now. It looks like he's just playing the slow and steady. Oh, wow. That was a good play. Another three victory points. And now he's got a coin, extra card at the end of his turn. That was a good play. There we go. I'm really afraid to discard my uh, hammer here, but I just feel like I have to do it in order to get this fox which in turn would, would let me get the favor of the foxes. So I hope he doesn't clear this sympathy. This bunny sympathy cannot be cleared, otherwise that whole plan is basically screwed.
One thing actually about the digital version that is a little bit harder to replicate is the table talk. I mean, Root is pretty much 50%, you know, strategy and the other 50% is a lot of table talk and that's a little bit hard to replicate that. Like you can use the chat system, but it's just not the same. I'd highly recommend playing Root with people, you know, that you're going to be able to talk to. In this case, we're just all playing and I believe none of us are actually talking to each other. I don't think any of the other players are, so it's just like an interesting kind of different experience. But Root definitely benefits a lot from basically the table talk and the discussion there. He has to do two combats, so I'm wondering if he's going to do both here and get the points. Looks like that's the direction he's going. I really hope he doesn't clear that. He should realize that I can't revolt in the bunny. So if he realizes that I cannot revolt, then hopefully he will not attack my sympathy there and he'll attack this Marquise player again. Please, man, please. We really want to get this favor card. It will really mess up the cats. Arrgh gonna take out his two sawmills that will literally ruin his economy that'll that'll take the Marquise some time to get back up into the game without any wood income yes it's awesome he doesn't have to build so he's good and now these are free for the taking so I'm gonna go ahead and probably clear out these buildings for some extra points Okay, so we're definitely just gonna lay that there. That's awesome. So that allows us to be able to take. Oh man, this is crazy. Okay. So now we're gonna go ahead and jump up into the Eerie's. We're gonna just place it. We're gonna place it there. Uh, I should have placed it over here. Eh, whatever. I should have placed it over here because then I could have just played the sympathy and then I could have just done something different there. But I'm going to go ahead and craft the favor. And that's going to take his wood. That's going to take a sawmill. Oh man, I'm going to get four points from that alone. The really, really powerful play right there. So that really cleared out those spaces for me, really. Um, dang. Oh no, I was supposed to mobilize that turn, but it just seemed to jump. Oh no, that was a mistake on my part. We're just gonna move all three of these guys here. We're gonna do an attack action on those sawmills, get those two points. So that's just going to give us two more victory points and we're going to clear the Marquise even more so out of the game. He's not getting any wood this round uh, his, on his upcoming turn. So it's a nice turnaround for us at least. Oh man, I got my guys stuck there though. So I would have to attack him and try to lower his troops in order to... Hmm, we may want to do that. Let's see, this next one's going to give us four points. I think I'm able to win. Oh, it looks like I am able to win. Yep. Oh, that was a good game. There it is. Oh no, I was one action off. No, it was so close. Oh my gosh, I totally... Did not see that it was only one action. Ah, oh, that would have been the game right there. I should have played that a little differently. That's whatever. Well, another player now has a chance to. I have to discard three cards. Get rid of that, get rid of that. Man, that's so sad. Ah, oh, guys, we were so close. Okay, so now it's going to be interesting to see what happens here. 
Um, so the Marquise was actually able to get a lot of warriors back there. Um, hmm. I don't know what the cat is going to do. I was going to clear my sympathy there. Makes sense. The, the cat does not have any wood. Man, I can't believe I was one officer away from winning there. That sucks, guys. The thing is, if though, if you go for like six officers, you just have only four warriors to work with. It's pretty hard. So I usually like the five. Ah, uh, he's gonna clear this right here. Of course. It's gonna put him at 28 if he takes that. Oh, uh, he's going to go for my fox? I'm not actually sure what he's going for here. Now, here is where you use an ambush card. And I'm going to use it. Because this protects me from losing my base. He'll take my sympathy at most. Well, he will take the sympathy because he gets the defenseless bonus. So that... Ah, uh, he, he wouldn't have would have gotten it anyways sucks oh nope he used his card so he was able to take the base anyways so that puts him at 29 oh my gosh he's so close to winning if he is able to do another attack which he is dang that puts the marquise as the winner it's a good game yep there's no way i can stop that Wow, good game, Squirrels. That was awesome. Super, super close game. So close. I was one officer off, folks. Man, good game. Well, maybe next time my Woodland Alliance will be able to conquer. But until next time, guys, thank you so much for watching. This has been um, a, a pleasure playing this game. I want to be releasing more videos like this, so if you guys liked what you saw, if you liked the gameplay, please leave a like, as well as comment down below what type of matchup you want to see, or maybe who you want me to play next. Um, and go ahead and click that bell notification, that way you're notified when my next video is released. Thank you guys so much for watching, and with that, let's go ahead and drop the beat.